as in terms of being a man, you feel like you have to kind of be tough and act strong and, you know, show off this kind of macho attitude. I'm Canadian. I grew up in, uh, with a Cameroonian family, so um, I guess I had an interesting view of masculinity and different views. It was kind of a, not exactly a clash, but like it was because there were a lot of similarities between Cameroon and Canada. Uh, but it was an interesting mix. So like in Cameroon, it's very like traditional idea of a man. The man was the leader of the house, who was strong, disciplinarian of his kids, all that stuff. And Canada was similar, but to a lesser extent. And there was a lot more room to kind of like be more than just that and show like more emotion and stuff like that. So that was a weird clash for me growing up as well. Uh, my parents were hard on me on that. And then coming here, um, I see, well, from what I've seen at least, it's more, actually I'm not sure, I've seen a mix of both the more traditional view of being a man and then also, just like in the rest of the world, a push towards kind of like a more, I guess more fluid and more open and a wider definition of what it means to be a man. So I guess it's a similar clash here, I guess because of different cultures as well. I think I started my last year of undergrad, so 2017. Because that's when I really started realizing that I could, that there were hair care routines that I could do to take care of my hair, take care of my beard. I, I like my hair a lot, especially from when I started growing facial hair, because I've been wanting it for a long time. So I thought that I would, first I learned from my brothers that it's probably a good idea to take care of your hair, make sure it grows well, especially since it's, if it's that important. Um, so these are all my hair products. Um, I'll start with beard. First there's a beard cleansing wash um, that you then either use with a beard conditioner or a beard grooming spray and then after that you will put the softening beard butter these are all uh, Shea Moisture beard products I got them for Christmas for my brother I was lucky that my, my brothers did a lot of the initial finding work for me but I know that for them it was really hard to find like not only black hair products but black, black male hair products um, so yeah, I was lucky. My, the first things that I learned about, I learned from them. Uh, then I kind of just copied the things they were doing. But then recently, as I'm trying to like expand, especially into like beard care, it's been harder because I feel like there's not too many markets that kind of uh, cater that to those kind of needs. And there's the stuff for my hair. I have shampoo, black castor oil base um, that you then. You put the uh, treatment mask, it's kind of like a conditioner as well. You leave it in your hair for a bit, it helps make it softer and stronger. And then this is a styling lotion that also helps strengthen it, but also you put it on, you leave it in during the day. Yeah, uh, growing up, I, I would have liked to have a kind of space or a place where I could have learned about like black hair, how to care for it, what kind of things you can do with it, and just how, how cool it could be as well.